there are serious new threats to Christians in the Middle East today. There are now warnings that Christianity could possibly be wiped out from Iraq and Afghanistan, Egypt as well possibly, because of severe and persistent persecution. According to the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, it's a bipartisan group, independent group, in 2003 there were 800,000 to 1.4 million Christians in Iraq, a startling difference from today where there are only an estimated 500,000 Christians still living there. And according to our State Department, there is no longer a public Christian church standing in Afghanistan. Leonard Leo is chairman of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, and my guest now, Leonard, uh, the... the, the the statistics are startling. First, just big picture it for us. What is happening? Well, throughout the Middle East and in North and in Sub-Saharan Africa, there is uh, a serious increase in the amount of violence that's being perpetrated against Christian uh, religious minorities uh, around that region. And as a result, you're seeing dwindling populations, people Vi who no longer want to live there. Violence by and persecution by whom? Well, sometimes it's persecution and violence by the government. Uh, but sometimes it's individuals who take uh, the matter into their own hands and engage in vigilante justice. And in so doing, uh, they sometimes or oftentimes get away with it because the governments are not investigating, prosecuting, and bringing those people to justice. Whoever is causing it, it is a victory in some cases for radical Muslims uh, who, you know, uh, adhere to Sharia law, who, who believe in violence as a, as a solution to problems. Uh, what effect does that have uh, on these nations, if, if the more extreme elements uh, of, of, you know, the Muslim faith rise to power and the Christians leave these countries? Well, first of all, Christianity has always been a very important part of the fabric of Middle Eastern and North African society. And for those populations to be dwindling or leaving has a very serious impact on the stability, security, and prosperity of countries in the Middle East and in North and Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's a very serious problem. How did we get to this point? I mean, you, you, did you work for the Bush administration? Uh, no, not, not, uh, not formally. Okay. I was a delegate to the UN, but... You were a delegate. Okay, so, so that's my question, because, you know, there, there's, you, you seem to have, you seem to believe, according to what I've read, that it was our decision to go into Iraq and Afghanistan that, let, that got us in this position, in part. Well, that's right. Uh, and one of the problems that we've had as a country is that we have failed to recognize, in the case of Afghanistan and Iraq, that there is a very significant sectarian component to the violence and to the wars that have been taking place there. And the failure to recognize that has resulted in, uh, in not providing sufficient uh, security and protection uh, to Christians and other religious minorities in countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. What should or could we possibly do along those lines? Well, at this point, with our withdrawal from Iraq, it's very hard to do uh, much of anything. Uh, and unfortunately, in Afghanistan, when we had the opportunity to uh, reform the Afghan constitution in ways that would have protected religious minorities, we, we didn't quite do that. So at this point in time, uh, it's, it's going to be very hard to put the kind of pressure we have to on the Afghan and Iraqi governments. We have to urge them to investigate, prosecute, and bring to justice the kind of violence that is... Uh, uh, plaguing these Christian communities and in countries like Egypt where we still give considerable foreign assistance and aid we have to try to condition that aid on proper protection of religious minority communities. Remember Egypt has right now probably the largest Christian minority population still standing in the Middle East and we really need to be very vigilant in urging the Egyptian government to provide security and protection for those communities. As someone who's been watching the trends thus far where do you see this going? I mean where do you see, what do you see the Middle East looking like when it it comes to Christianity and who's in control and who's influencing government in, say, 10 years? We are very, very concerned. Uh, there are dwindling populations of Christians throughout the Middle East and North Sub-Saharan Sub Africa. You're seeing an increase in violence. You're not seeing governments in that part of the world bring people to justice when they perpetrate that violence. Uh, all of those trends are very disturbing and could lead to uh, the extinction of Christian and other religious minority populations in a part of the world where they've been very important to stability, security, and economic prosperity. Leonard Leo, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.